Te nākwe, uh, te mokupuna, <laughs> o, o tā mātou kaua a te karehana, e tino mihi tēnei ki a koe, e te, te, e te uh, moko, um, e tēnei ata. Um, ko ai tēnei, ko au uh, he uri o te mōna o tauranga, nō nā iwi katoa, nā iwi, iwi uh, toru, ngātirangi ngātirangi nui me ngāti pūkenga. Um, engari, I tēnei rā, i tēnei wā, ko te pōtai ki rūnia hau, i tēnei wā ko te tiamana o te rūnanga o Ngāti Ranginui. Um, nō Hairini, Ngāti Ahi, me Ngāti He, hoki, um, i tipu ana hau uh, ki kei Hairini me Maunga Tapu, i, um, i haere ana a hau ki te convent, <laughs> te kura content, <laughs> St Mary's um, Tauranga, um, a muri tēnā i haere au ki te kāreti o Tauranga Girls, a muri tēnā haere au ki te whare mānanga o Wikitoria. Um, e te mutunga o tēnā, uh, hmm, haere au ki Japan, uh, oh. ki te mahi um, kapahaka <laughs> era Era um, momo, kapahaka me Polynesian dance. Amiri tēnā i, I hoki mai au ki tauranga i haere au ki te um, wānanga o Tamaki Makaurau. Um, e noho ana au ki Tamaki Makaurau. Nō pēa ko tātikau tau. Wow. <laughs> hoki mai au te tau 2015. Mm. Noho ki te kāinga, uh, nō reira, um, ai, tēnā, tēnā koe, tēnā koutou. Lovely. Ai. Well, and Donna, you are now um, the new chairperson of Te Runga o Ngā Te Rangi Noi. Ai. And, um, and when did you take up this role, just before the pandemic? Um, uh, last year when we had the AGM in November, we that's when I, I took up the role. So in terms of that whakapapa, I'm Ngai Tiahi, mm -hmm. and I was a board member for Ngai Tiahi before taking on the role of the chair. So, um, <clears throat> on my mum's side, I'm, I'm a Harawara Rinini, and on my dad's side, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Murray Gardner. Mm. So, Matakana, Hangarau, Ngai Tiahi, uh, Ngai Tiahi. <laughs> Tauranga mō. <laughs> ai, 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 ai. Rangi wai a hoki a uh, me tama pahuri. Ai. Awesome. And uh, a little bit about your work background. Um, after university, I went to work for a, a woman called Letty Brown. Now, Letty Brown ran a whānau home for girls, um, street kids. Um, she was part of what was called the royal family then. Awesome. So um, she ran a halfway house for young kids who were living on the streets way back then. Um, there were people like her, John Ransfield, um, Fred, oh, I can't remember his other name, but there was a whole group of people who ran home supporting homeless as well as um, rangatahi who were on the streets. And they were all called the Royal Family of Inner City Auckland, mm. based largely in Ponsonby. Yeah, so that was my... Um, very first job actually, and after that ended up working in internal affairs um, and then got into community development there, worked with as a youth work coordinator for gangs in the North Island, I was their coordinator. Oh wow. So we had a number of um, gang members who were called detached youth workers. So they worked, funded by the department, but um, under the um, umbrella of a trust, and they worked with their own gangs. Wow. Oh, okay. um, and then after that, worked with Te Waira or Aotearoa Trust, which was a trust, a, a holder trust, that put out quite a lot of videos called um, Waira videos. You're probably too young to remember those. <laughs> <laughs> but that um, trust was led by people like um, Dr. John McLeod, Ozzy Huata, um, uh, te Rangihau. So there is very prominent kaimātua um, involved in the setting up of that trust. Um, and then after that, 
uh, internal affairs again and then I ended up working at um, Te Whareawaranga Awanuyarangi. I became the campus manager because I had post-grad qualifications and they needed somebody in Auckland. Oh, cool. I became the campus manager for Awanuyarangi out at Manukau. After that I ended up at AUT as the um, undergrad program leader cool. for Te Arapautama. And then from there went to the University of Auckland to work at Ngāpai o Te Maramatanga until I came home, 2015. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a CV. I know. Aren't we so lucky to have you back here now? <laughs> Amazing. And so uh, you speak a lot about like uh, community development and, and our people on the ground. Mm. Um, and uh, does your passion still lie there? Yeah, I... Um I believe in um, community development, I believe in whānau development, I prefer to think about um, whānau and, and iwi and community development rather than social services so that you know our people need to be involved in their own um, future, yeah. in their own hope, in their own discovery of what they're absolutely capable of. Yeah. You know, rather than um, that they are uh, receivers of care. Yeah. Or of social services. Yeah. You know, and reliant. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's my view. I think um, that that's the way to go. Awesome. Yeah. Mm. And I guess in terms of this pandemic, um, what are some of the highlights for you? I guess what, in terms of whānau and hapu, um, um, how has it all gone down for you? I think personally what it did for me is meant that I became what what would be called more present, you know, with my mum. Because yeah. prior to lockdown or prior to Rahui, I prefer to say Rahui, um, we were always busy. You know, I'd go to see my mum and I'd have my phone with me and I'd be talking on the phone while I'm with her. Yeah. Whereas during during uh, Rahui, we had much more quality time together, you know, um, she started to talk a lot more about stuff that I'd never heard before. Yeah. Um, she, um, and then we introduced her to the technology which allowed her to see her son, who lives in Australia, when we used to have karakia, Zoom karakia every night. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. um, you know, it was quite important that our, um, we had an opportunity to share the, the technology with her.